Hello, my name is David Stokes, and there are all sorts of bad financial moves people shouldn't make. You shouldn't take out payday loans, you shouldn't play the lottery, you shouldn't go to casinos, you shouldn't buy your furniture at a rent-to-own store, you shouldn't get a refund anticipation loan when the federal government will send you your tax refund free without any char extra charges, but people do these things all the time, and the government has no right to tell free educated adults in a free country what they can and can't do in private commercial transactions. Now at the Show Me Institute, we write about things like this a lot. And we were thinking that it's sort of silly to keep writing about payday loans when having no idea what they're about. So I, Dave Stokes, am here to today, April 1st, not an April Fool's Day joke. We're going to really take out a payday loan. So join us as we go in. I've got John Payne with me here today. Josh is on camera. We're gonna we're gonna make some bad financial decisions that free people should be free to make. Well, we were rejected at the first payday Missouri payday loan because they wouldn't let us fill. Here, quick cash. We were uh, they have tighter requirements. I didn't have a check on me. I only brought an ATM balance inquiry receipt, which was good enough at Missouri Payday Loans, but it's not good enough here. So we're having a little bit of difficulties to do this. Not surprising, as we're learning in industry. Here we are, Traffic Law Center. This would be an example of complementary goods. This is John Payne here, and this is surprisingly difficult. Uh, I've noted that there's actually more uh, references required to this than on my apartment application, which was for much, much more money. So this is not really an easy process to get, uh, to get it's not as quick as uh, you would be led to believe. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, quite a few safeguards here, uh, actually, which you would not think, uh, given the, uh, the nature of the loan. They're verifying some references. It's taking a little longer than I expected. I assume it's because it's my first time and they're establishing an account. So future ones should be quicker, well, if there is a future one. So uh, it should just be a few more minutes and I'll be heading back in. All right, we just left the quick cash store, received $50. Uh, I've got a signed contract here. I voluntarily agreed to a APR of 521%. Uh, that's fine. I'm a free adult, educated adult. I can make these choices. I don't need state representatives protecting me. I have to come in within two weeks and make a payment of $60. If I come in tomorrow, I can waive all the interest and just pay $50 back directly. I don't think I'll do that. That would kind of destroy the points. So I'll be in next week, I'll repay it on time, make $60. And on $50 I didn't have that this company, it's a voluntary arrangement between free people. And with that, I can think nothing stupider to do right now than take this to the book, which is exactly what we're going to do. Let's go. I have literally bought cars in less time than it took to get that loan. I seriously don't think anyone will ever do this impulsively, because the impulse will die by the time you uh, get done getting the loan. Okay, the call ride should not be bringing people to the casino. If they have money to gamble, then they have money to get to the casino on their own, as opposed to being subsidized by the government. This is that's absurd. That's a terrific point, John. So here we are. We found we're going to take the money from the payday loan store, and we're going to do perhaps an even worse personal financial decision and go gambling. Now, things like this, I'm a admitted mass of conflicting emotions. I hate the idea of government telling people they can't gamble. I hate all the the uh, harms that come with legalized gambling to, to an area. But to that end, it's legal, it's open, we're going to go gamble away the money from the payday loan store. And we will not be filming inside the, the uh, video. We've seen the movie Casino, we know that that's not going to be allowed. So uh, I lost about $40 in there. The uh, dealer was getting some crazy cards. It was uh, pretty infuriating. I lost uh, about $30. Agreed completely with John. We were at the same table. Uh, the dealer was hot as heck. Stayed in until the end. And it got a, the end of the shoot. It got a lot better at the end of the black tech shoot. So we were both down a lot more than we lost. We made it back. It's a day of a lot of poor financial decisions. We took out a $500 
what they should accomplish. They should accomplish. Um, I still fail to see how the government has any right to tell one business that they can't loan me money or to cap what they charge me is the rates are going to be. But um, we had a fun day. It was an interesting project.